Good afternoon folks and welcome to a lovely sunny day at the allotment with the lovely Paula <laughs> and the canny Annie. The hairy face. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've got my little helper with us today so we're going to get busy. But first though, I've been to the shops. Such a lovely day. I bought some plates. Yeah. Such a lovely day. Get off there. Why are you giving me one plate? I've got some runa beans. <laughs> I've got some peas. I've got some climbing beans. I have some more potatoes. And also some shallots. But like I say, with it being such a lovely day today, we're going to have a little picnic. Come here, Annie. Yeah, I've got the kettle on there for some afternoon tea. Annie, So we've got a little bit sawny there. Cakes. Oil. I've got me, what's this? Chicken tandoori baguette. And some wipes to clean your hands on first. And I also have a couple of donuts. And of course, I can't leave Annie out. She's got <laughs> a jumbo one. Oh, what's this girl? <laughs> right, sit. You have to wait. Later. Good girl. Right, so before everything melts, it warms up. <laughs> I'm going to have my afternoon tea and then get stuck in, crack on, and all that kind of thing. See you in a bit. You say see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Still cracking on at the allotment? Get the kettle on. You're doing a grand job there, Petal. You're doing a grand job. Now crack on, hurry up, I need 30. I'll crack off in a minute. <laughs> I'll crack you. Well, that was a lovely afternoon tea with donuts and cakes, biscuits, and Annie had a bone even. Well, you snip it. Oh, look. Oh, no, she's ripping all the stuff. Right, anyway, as you can see, Paula's making some uh, paper pots for us. Because I've got lots of peas and beans and stuff to plant up the day, so might as well get cracking with that. What? Pond on? I just seen pots. <laughs> I do not, Paul Dog. It's Aiden too, I man. Cool. Yeah, it's a lovely day of the day. Yep, then the Wilkinsons, the old favourite shop to get their seeds from. And they had some um, potatoes, half price, pound a bag now. And the chits look okay on them. Some of them were quite long, weren't they? That's me just about finished here then. Is it? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Have we done 30 like? 
No, I'm still a good idiot. No. <laughs> Count them off, baby. You need to do it on the dot, like. Alright. Uh, Turn the beach. I'm going to plant 10 things of each. So what have you been up to, Paula? I haven't seen you down at the allotment for a while. Working. 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 Twerking. Working. Huh? <laughs> twerking's private, none of you will. Huh? <laughs> I twerk privately. <laughs> Not like you. You twerk for anybody. Right. Well, there's a pile of spare pile of things to fill up here so I'll get on with it I'm not going to bore you with showing you this <laughs> there's the, the cheek of it Paula Thompson there the Paula the cheek of it Thompson David Nas no Robson <laughs> <laughs> shut up what are you telling me people are watching this shut up oh you look at them when well, I'm telling shut up man shut up you shut up Shut up. Right, before uh, things go wrong, <laughs> see you in a bit. <laughs> How? <laughs> well, the onions are going here. This nice bed that Jackie's dug over for us. So I'm, I'm going to get it prepared with a good old cultivation. Hey Jackie, you missed some roots. Right, so that's that bit done. Now I'm going to put some grow more in because um, I'm not be putting the onions in for about a week. Let them acclimatize by putting them in the cold frame and keeping them outside for a bit. So I just sprinkle some of this on. And that's that. Just before I plant them in, I'll uh, give it a light forking over so I'll get the granules right down into the soil. Um, I'll show you the onions are outside here. Like I guess see I'm letting them, uh, putting them out for a bit. Let them get used to the cold. But they're all doing canny. You can keep them in, the, in these pots for as long as they need to, like. You see the roots are just starting to come through the bottom there now. And these ones are here as well. These broad beans need to go out. Which I think I'll do today. Find a little space for them. But uh, for now, I'm going to get the kettle on I think. Let's see what's going on in here. Hi. Very nice. There's me. I'm bloody sweating me when I start getting some digging done. <laughs> F 
fire on, eh? Heat up. Nice and cosy. Sorry for some. Right, I'm gonna get the kettle on before I go. See you in a bit. <laughs> Okay folks, this is where my broad beans are going to go. So I've already uh, prepared this bit. But they're going to bit grow more in there. So I put some um, cow manure on two years ago. So there's, there's still enough goodness in there. So, like, straight forward to pot, straight out of these plants, uh, out of the toilet rolls. Any roots there? And put them a trowel's distance apart. Can I go wrong? Never feels. Ah, that there uh, sage is sticking to me back. Same again, good roots there. Straight in, no messing about. Now I sowed some um, three weeks ago or something now. They've just started to come up. So I'll sow another 10, 8 or 10 in another 3 weeks so I'll have a constant source of broad beans. So I'll crack on with the rest of these and I'll show you what I've done. And action, stand by folks, stand by Annie, action. <laughs> well. I have bought some more potatoes from Wilkinson's because they were on special offer. One pound a bag. I'll tell you what, they've got some quite good chits on them. Can you zoom in? I can see it. Whoa. Good chits. Pally good chits. So, the, um, Thank you very much. Maris Pia, that's what these are. I've never grew them before, but I'll give them a try because, like I say, they're only a pound. So, 
Some of them are a bit manky like but the rest of them are okay. I'll be able to get a couple of rows, no doubt. Ain't no doubt, it's plain to see. I'm gonna get a couple of rows up <laughs> this day. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> put your teeth back in and try that again. Doing it. Get your bloody act together, David. Act oh, together. Oh. <laughs> you fool. What a numpty. Tell you what, it's firstly work this. That's it. I haven't got any uh, coffee left either or tea. Bummer. So, what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do now is go to the shop. Just get me tab. I'm going to go and get a bottle of pop or something. Hurry up then. Hurry up then. There's a little dude with a hat on. <laughs> Let's see what Annie's doing. Hey jackasses, what's Jesus, going on here? Jesus, Jackie, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I just seen that Dave, jackass Dave, going up to the shop for something. So I thought I'd nip in. It's, hey Paula, how's it going there, baby? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you like that? Yeah. No, I don't. Hey. <laughs> Hands about, to yourself. What's that? Hands to yourself or Dave will be after you. Hey, forget Dave. What do you think of him, mate? I pity the fool. I pity the fool. I don't hate the man. I pity the fool. I think you should get, come over here and get yourself a real man while the Dave's away. Listen, Jackie. Get off my beard, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, before that <laughs> jackass comes back, what are you going to do about it? What? what are you going to do about it? <laughs> do you not fancy having your hair cut, Jackie? How long have you been growing it? I come here, do some digging, and I come here and I get grief. I ain't get no grief off no one. Especially that Dave, wait till he gets back here. In fact, I'm going to go and go and see if I can see him. Goddamn jackass. You kick your ass, man, Jackie. Watch yourself. I'm strong! See you later, fools! Go on, get out! <laughs> Who invited him? Wait till your dad comes back, Annie. Dave, hurry up! Is that footsteps I hear? Is that him coming back? What's he got? I hope I see him coming back. Dave! Are you on your way back? Leaving me to get molested. Bloody hell, cheers oh, like. What's going on like? Jackie's been. Jackie's been. Rubbing me leg and everything. Rubbing your leg and everything? What are you going on about? That you came in here all hey and all this. Do you fancy coming over here and getting yourself a real man and saying that he pitied you? <laughs> and what? Where, where, where is he now? Where, where is he? I hoofed his arse with the door. What? Like two How long minutes, ago? Two, two minutes. minutes. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and see him. That's it. I've had enough of this.
Well, let's go and see what everybody's favourite weirdo's up to. Come on, honey. Are we? Come on. She comes. Where is he? He ain't there. Oh, there he is. How are you, lass? Go on. There she goes. <laughs> Hello. Oh. I have no way in the pond. <laughs> what? Oh, shut up. Shut up. Just filling the pond up a bit because it's getting there. It hasn't rained for a while. And it's got loads of tadpoles in. I love a tad. Watch you don't squish them. I see loads. See if it is really. Take a thing off the tripod if you want. There they are. Oh. Loads of them. Hi. Can you see them? Uh -huh. I've zoomed out now. Oh, yeah. Well, while you've got the camera running, you might as well be the camera lady extraordinaire. <laughs> I'll take you on the little tour. And see, look at the size of that rhubarb now. Yeah, it's very big, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, it's nearly. I'm standing there. I got there. Stand next to it, Lee. Like a proper god. Like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I didn't quite get that, I don't think. Yeah, I think I've got the uh, pigeons there. <laughs> Huh? You want some rhubarb? <coughs> I love rhubarb. You want some? Is it ready, like? Well, if it's just about, I'll wait. Well, you, know. <laughs> you can probably get some. Oh, I love to make a rhubarb crumble. And custard. No. Yes. Just the crumble on its toad. Custard. Oh, with ice cream or cream. <laughs> right, move, honey. Here we have my chives. And the golden rod, which is coming up, Carrie. Um, I've still got quite a few flowers here. You've got some absolutely beautiful flowers here. <laughs> what are they? Not sorry. <laughs> That's your weed pot. Anyone, you look. You're supposed to be looking to see how tidy my plot is. These are primrose. Lovely. I think they are. We can all see how tidy our plot Primula. is. Primula, primrose or something. I don't know. Primula, cheese. <laughs> The strawberries here. I've taken a hold after the transplant. Mm -hmm. And the blackberries and raspberries are starting to do the thing. But not too close. That's David! Me. No. <laughs> no. That's me onion bed there sorted out. Nice and neat and tidy. So the me onions will be going in next week sometime after they've had a bit hardening off. Uh, the garlic. Now the garlic that I planted outside is now catching up to the ones that I planted inside. <coughs> so I don't think it makes any difference. But we'll see what happens to them anyway. Never really get good garlic, but you know, <coughs> give it a try. And I love garlic. And so you, nice. need, you need to get it reet. <laughs> No sign of the potatoes yet. I'll give this a bit of a watering before we go tonight as well. And I'll get the rest of them, the Charlotte and the Maris Pia that I've just bought, I'll get them in here within the next week or so as well. So, it's so crack on. Uh, yeah, as you can see. Oh! Here's something I haven't showed you. Showed. <laughs> Your tree. My new apple tree. It is a Bergamont russet. Just a baby. Yeah, Caddy. It's next to the big daddy there. Big daddy. I don't know what sort of apples they are. 
<coughs> crab. <laughs> yeah, I've netted over the proteins, given them a good soaking in, and netted them over just for now until I get a bit bigger and the birds don't eat them. The um, herbs are doing canny. Starting to get little blue flowers on. Thyme is Thyme, sage is There's lemon bombs growing like wildfire. Want to smell? <laughs> Don't like the smell of that, like. Smell this one. This one smells like licorice. I hate licorice. That means me something else, that. It's got an after smell of licorice. Anyway, that's me herbs. Uh, herbs. The comfrey will be getting chopped back next week sometime as well. <laughs> uh, let's go into the greenhouse. Oh, let's. Like I say, there's them onions. Onions. I'll put, I'll put them in the cold frame before I leave tonight. <clears throat> My pumpkin has got its first true leaf on there, so that is good. These are my sweet corn, which I planted in the house um, on the windowsill months ago. <coughs> I plant, uh, potted them on. Now, well, I've also potted these corianders on as well. They've got big. Uh, yeah, I should turn the camera around there. Yeah? The sure. cabbage, the cabbage. <laughs> it's dairy. So it's funny. Look, the broad beans that I sowed the other week are up. Them cabbage are doing okay. As are these cabbage that I put up, put on last week. They're up. No sign of my leaks yet. I think that's a pepper coming on there. Hey! Hurrah! <laughs> <coughs> the rest of my onions. My chrysanthemum cutting there. Mm hmm. Doing arky. It's arky. These other ones. <coughs> I've drooped down, but they're, they're still alive. They'll come back, they'll be sound. Um, I'll put some spinach seeds in the other day. I need to give them a good water in. <laughs> you stop it, right, you? I'm trying to film here, you know. You get wrong. Now, what are these? You made us forget. Kale. The kale, I've transplanted them into the pot as well. The giant onion. Mmm. <coughs> it's getting quite big. From a seed. First time I've grew them from seed. Uh, <coughs> nothing else of interest to show you in here, I don't think. No. Onwards and upwards. So much coming. <coughs> There's another pile of uh, stuff to burn. Because I've had to tidy up again, look. Check it out. I think my influence is finally rubbing off. You're actually tidying. Look, it's tidy. This is my wood pile. Got a bit of decking area here. Wood pile. Tidy. No old brambles there, just <coughs> new ones coming. Bloody great. It's bloody great. It's marvellous. Right, so into the shed because I think I've got something to show you. Ooh. In fact, can I just pass it over to me there for a second, please? Thank you. Yeah, uh, just a little quick thing to show you. Now I think <laughs> I think I've got a bee bees nest, folks. I think I have a bees nest. They keep coming in. There's a gap just there. In fact, there's one coming through. I can hear it. No, it's not a deer. There's one outside, I can hear it, but they're going into there. I've noticed them going into there, so I didn't know. 
It's just one and one or two every now and then, so it might be just one of them solitary bees. But look at this as well. The grapevine. Hey. Starting to grow. Woo, so that's canny. In fact, I wonder what the other one's like. This one there's only potatoes. That's enough taties for me, like. That's enough taties for me. Is it enough for me? Just a quick look in this greenhouse. There's not much happening. I just want to see how the grapevine is doing. Woo! Dodgy! Oh, it's grown there, like. Starting to fatten up tiny. Good. Grapes again this year, folks. Grapes again this year. I'm going to have to sort this bloody door out. It's nothing but a pain in the backside. Well, folks, that's about it, folks, for the day. I shall say thank you very much to all my new subscribers. And um, thank you for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. Ah, oh, freezing cold. Oh, there's a bee going in. Oh, I've just missed it. There's a, there was a bee just went in there. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, folks. Uh, it's much appreciated. Ah, you're freezing cold hands. <laughs> so, from me, and me, <laughs> cheeky. <laughs> see you on the next one. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Once again, folks, thanks. All the best. Cheers. Nice one. Bye.